Hey, my people. I just wanted y'all to know that the only way is ethics. I don't know if y'all have ever heard, the people on this side of the pond have heard of Essex, but it, it's a place over in England, and my friend Stacy sent this to me, and I will be doing um, a haul of all the stuff that she gave me, but I wanted to do a video using this eyeshadow, and it's um, All Eyes Are On Me for Luxury Color Intense Eyeshadows. And I'm thinking these homegirls are from like a TV show or something in England. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have a TV. Like, I watch TV on YouTube and stuff like that, but I don't have like a regular TV. So, I, I'm a square. I don't know who these people are. I'm sorry. But, anywho, let me show you the colors. This is what it looks like on the eyeball. And here are the colors. Beautiful colors. And it actually comes with a usable brush. I was shocked. Um, it says the only way is Essex on the brush. And then it has these two little padded brush ends. Which, honestly, this eyeshadow color goes on best wet. I found that to be true. So let's get started. I'm going to take and use my MAC Paint in Canvas. You only want a little bit of canvas. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to do what's called foil the eyeshadow. First off, I'm going to take that really odd shaped brush that I have and that white right there. We're gonna we're gonna go on and dab it on. Cause at first I was gonna do it dry, and then I was like, no, I think I'll do it wet. Okay. So once you have that covered, then I'm gonna take that teal. It's a teal color right there. What you do is let me find my brush. We're going to be using a little bitty brush like this and you want to clean it off every time now so you're not muddling up the colors. Then we're going to take, um, this says moisture surge, but really it's just water in here. You want to wet the brush. Don't wet it too much, you want it moist. Moist. Okay, and then you just want to take and do a little bitty edge of the eyeshadow. Don't do all over the eyeshadow because it seals over the eyeshadow and you have to go back and clean it off every time to use it. Just so you know. Okay. And then we're going to go in right here on this edge. Edge. On this inner corner. The ball of the eye, I mean. I'm not with it this morning, y'all. Forgive me. And you want to get that on the ball of the eye. We're going to foil that color, too. go over that blue area right there to tie it all in all the way underneath okay should look like that so far now what we're gonna do I'm gonna take that dark blue like royal blue wet my brush then what we're going to do we're going to come inside the blue area or the purple area forgive 
forgive me. The purple area. I'm going to come down and over. I'm sleeping. Now, I've already done my brows and all that, and you've already got your highlight there because we covered it all in the white um, shimmery eyeshadow. So now what we're going to do, um, we're going to remember to put the royal blue underneath the eye, which I forgot. You going to take that royal blue. And follow it and mix it with the purple. Our it's called L'Oreal Eye Dramatic pencil, and it's the color Hopeful Teal. We're gonna take it, and come in at an edge in a wedge shape. You're not going to go all the way to the white, you're going to come almost to it. And I've already uh, curled my lashes, I always do that in the beginning. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild liner that is called Black, 861 Black, and I'm going to line. Now, I've already put on my brows. I'm going to put on my mascara, which is L'Oreal Double Extend, and I shall return. Okay, I'm back, people. I'm back, and hopefully I'm more awake, because I need to wake it up. Anywho, I have put on my mascara, and then I went and I used, because I was just feeling like it needed something extra, so I used my Wet n Wild Color Icon, um, liner in black newer and this is also not tested on animals y'all go and it's shimmer it has shimmer in it so i really like that now we shall be putting on the blush i've already contoured using my bourgeois chocolate bronzer and i'm going to be using blooming pink uh, blush from clinique and i have enough of this blush to send to a third world country for serious I mean, I have a lot of it. And also, when I moved, a lot of it came out of the sifter. So, if you get some and there's like a ton up in the sifter, just take a little off on your brush and dab it off. Okay. And this is a full-on look, y'all. Dab it off on your hand smile like you're crazy put it more towards his back area and I have a breakout right there because I was <laughs> stupid and I left on my put it across your nose because I was stupid and left on my Halloween makeup and I fell asleep yes I did I fell asleep with makeup on I am human and then, y'all, I'm going to be using a powder that I don't remember the name of. I know that it is a mineral veil type powder. I depotted it because the container was broken. And, yeah. So, I'm just going to clean off that brush. Twirl and tap. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on just to take the shine away. 
be using a Rimmel's Pure Lip Liner. It's Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner. And I'm gonna... So, I've lined and filled in my lips. And you could go nude with this if you wanted to. I just wanted to do color. And I'm going to be using a Z Color Rose, no, Spiced Apple. Spiced Apple, it's that color right there. And yes, this is a concealer brush, not a lip brush, because I can't find the lip brush. And you are done, my dear. I hope y'all like this look. It's a full-on, full-color kind of look on eyes, cheeks, and lips. But for the fall, I say do it. I think it looks good. I want to thank my homegirl Stacy again for sending me this stuff. It was so very sweet of you. You always do me right and send me stuff. It, it's so sweet of you. Thank you very much. And thank you to all the people out there who have sent me something. Y'all know who y'all are. And yeah, y'all just make my day and make me feel so special when y'all send me something like that. It just make it watching my video and commenting makes me feel like a queen. So this really makes me feel special. So thank you so much, and I hope y'all have a wonderful, lovely day.